Am I really gonna record this video with a bunch of half naked anime chicks behind me? Uh, yeah. So let's get into the best axes in Fortnite save the world. So this is a continuation of the melee tier list video that I, is probably going to be all these put together. But I've recently recorded the swords video, so link to that down below. I'll try to link all the parts in the description of these videos. Um, and I think that'll keep you guys in the loop so you can see all the melees in the game. Uh, a little bit of a disclaimer. Some of these axes are going to be ranked with uh, amongst the other axes, meaning some of these weapons will be S tier when they otherwise wouldn't be with an exception of the stop axe of course that's literally the best melee in the entire game easily um, i'm also going to link my videos on all these weapons down below for the ones that i've covered and that's the other disclaimer is some of these weapons i haven't tried i took a description read i took a little look at the uh, storm chasers revenge and the hack axe which i believe are clones of each other slow swinging hard hitting axe is nothing i didn't need to know more i i, I haven't used those weapons in particular but I'm not convinced that's going to be very useful at all. Most melees need to swing pretty quickly to even keep up, and I'm not convinced. If I'm wrong, and you want to comment down below, please let me know. Um, but some of these weapons, I'm not super sold on. But I have taken a look at all these different axes, because in the um, in the sword video, there were a few weapons that I hadn't used before. And I, I don't like not coming to these videos informed, but some weapons, especially melees, are so bad that they just... They've never even gotten my attention. So let's get into ranking the axes. Now that I've prepped all the uh, non-legendary copies, I guess, Angel, thank you for the bits. If you guys haven't uh, known already, it's pretty obvious, but I record these on stream. So if you guys want to check out the link, uh, link in the description below to the Twitch channel, you can come hang out. I record these on stream because it's pretty casual and fun, and I appreciate the audience keeping up with me. So let's get started for real. First and foremost, I guess we get the Argon Axe. It is interesting because, believe it or not, uh, do I have a copy I can go check out? The Argon Axe is the, oh yeah, one without crit Rating. I have a support perk on. Let me go change my loadout real quick. The stop axe, or sorry, Argon Axe is the highest crit rating weapon in the entire game. Now, there is the Storm King's Onslaught with a base 25%, but no, 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 no. Base 30% crit chance. This weapon has crit hits, cause an explosion, and it doesn't need a six perk. I'm sorry, and it doesn't need a crit rating, which is pretty dang good. Um, it's not like the best. Uh, not the best melee in the game, but amongst the axes, easy S tier. Like, actually better than than you might think. Uh, if, if you don't remember the sword tier list, if you watched that already, a little bit of a spoiler, the Stormblade jumped from D tier from its clone to S tier because of the crit hits causing explosion. It goes a long way. Um, the Armageddon is another crit hits causing explosion, but it's not a super impressive weapon. I'll put it in, in B tier. Um, not the most wild weapon it, it, it needs more help than crit hits causing explosion unfortunately and you're gonna think i'm memeing like i did with the stop axe okay just to correct this so i don't ruin people's it's it's a okay all right i, I know it's a meme in the community but it's not, it's not good uh but the the, the clax actually is it, it's wildly strong uh i'll link my video on all these like i said you should go check it out if you don't believe me it's actually the affliction might be bugged i don't know 100 percent. i need to do some testing on that i think because it it is crazy hard hitting and i don't think this is a legendary copy of a weapon i think this is the storm chasers revenge this is actually pretty easy to double check because we can go to the collection book go to the melee weapons head over to the axes and i can see it yeah all four of these weapons are just leading up to the storm chasers revenge which is a weapon that we've already talked about so we'll move on from there uh this is oh i can't even remember the name of it that's usually a bad sign rule of thumb for my videos if beast doesn't know the name of a weapon we're off to a rough start husk grinder it has its fans it can spin around and it can be useful but it's it's really it's bad uh the black metal melees are very garbage i'm gonna put it in d tier i have never been impressed maybe i'm way wrong and somebody wants to write up a, a, a comment down below let me know but i was not impressed and i believe this is another non-legendary copy so i'm gonna put that down there um yeah prior to recording this i did actually try out i can't believe this I, I have used this weapon before, but this was essentially the first time since the Art Deco weapons came out forever ago. I think over two years ago. Was it 2019? Uh, let me see. I covered the Sodbuster the day that it came out. So let me drop that link in Twitch and go see what we're looking at here. That was, oh, July of 2020. So uh, exactly two years ago. Um, that is it's the first time I've ever really given it a look. And it is an S tier axe 
but maybe an A tier overall melee because it has really, let me go show it. Uh, this, this weapon's kind of insane. Remember, I just took my loadout off. So the, uh, let me go find it. The Great Axe B has a 53% crit rating with a crit rating perk. It has the 44% bonus damage against fire elementals, crit rating, crit damage, and an attack speed perk, which is the golden combo. That's exactly what you want. And a 0.69 attack speed, which nice is let alone the best thing that it has going for it with the loadout that i had on it earlier it was over a 60 percent chance to crit which is massive so this weapon is uh actually pretty dang good single target it even has a, a heavy attack six perk i'm sorry a heavy attack that is actually pretty strong so it's an s tier axe maybe an a tier melee with a better loadout i was using deadly blade crash in the lead it could maybe be buffed maybe totally rocking out would go a long way but its crit rating is already so high that it might not help uh, well its crit chance is high not not its crit rating so it, it could be pretty good um but yeah anyway very interesting weapon vacuum tube axe literally yes i'm not even kidding this is the least popular best perks video on my entire channel i've done over 200 of those videos and it's chain lightning six perk in a water zone is extremely strong this is an S tier melee, not just an axe, an S tier melee. It is actually very, very good and um, a very, very underappreciated weapon. Probably the most underappreciated weapon. That might be the, that might be the clax, but yeah, it, it's, it's quite strong. Uh, the Vinodex Sever, one of the highest attack speed axes in the game. Unfortunately, that doesn't really save it uh, because if you want to like utilize that attack speed, pair it with Paleo Luna, I, there are some really good melees in the game that you might as well be using. Um... Did I, did, yeah, no, I did mean the sod buster. The sod buster was the first Art Deco weapon I covered. So that gives me a good frame rate or frame of time for when it came out. Yeah, Vinodex ever. I'm going to keep that in C tier. It's not, you maybe B tier. It's not useless. It can be paired with Luna. It can be made useful, just like the stop X can. But it's it's not, not wildly impressive. Then we got the, uh, oh man, the Wicked Wind, I think is what that's called. I don't even remember. That is a nice and old medieval weapon. Let me go see uh, what we got going on here. Uh, I can't even remember the name of it. Do I not have a copy leveled up? <gasps> There's no way. Was I gifted this? Yeah, the Wicked Wind. Yeah, that's bad. If I don't have a copy, that's because I didn't save it. I'm going to put it in D tier because if I don't remember testing the weapon, it's typically a bad sign. I think it's just a normal axe with like decent-ish, but pretty bad attack speed, not great crowd coverage, and the damage doesn't make up for it. Thank you for the follows. I appreciate it. And then the, uh, the axle is again, just a terrible weapon. I tried it when it first came back to the shop after a long time of being gone. I powered it up on stream. We all got excited, built a good loadout for it, hopped into a game, and I... I yeah, it was bad. It's like it's like belly flopping into the pool, but there weren't there wasn't any water. It was it was rough. Um, and then to follow up with the final pick, this is the what is the name of the the supersonic slasher? I remember this one because this weapon can have like double crit damage, and I think oh I don't remember the exact six perk, but it had something interesting going on. So let's check it out together. Uh, the copy I leveled up, yeah, crit hits cause an explosion. I didn't want to say it without without checking first. This one was interesting. I ran this with like a totally rocking out build so that I could have the extra attack speed from that team perk. It was, um, or actually technically the support perks give you that, but doesn't matter. It was uh, interesting. With the double crit damage, you can have the crit explosions. It's got a lot going for it. So it's definitely an A tier melee. I don't know about an S tier uh, axe. Even I think A tier is where that weapon belongs. Like it can be usable, like even in the 160s, but it's not... Mm, it's not that great. Uh, the Wicked Wind can push back enemies. That isn't something I value. So it's, it's, um, I think it's an A tier. I, I think that's where it belongs. And I, I don't think that that weapon has a ton of, of utilization elsewhere, but I'm going to leave that guys up to you to debate. So yeah, there you go. The axe tier list. Comment down below which one you guys might want to see next. Uh, I do want to cover all the different melees in the game. So which section is pretty much the uh, the big question. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, comment down below. I, I'll, I'll see you in the next one. Uh, take it easy.